Max Verstappen had one of the best weekends of his career at Circuit Paul Ricard this year. Topping two of the three practice sessions and putting the car on pole, he did everything right in the build-up to the race. But the race win did not come easy for him. Here is how he won the French Grand Prix. Before we go further, I wanted to see a quick thing. The analytics show that over 90% of you viewers of this channel are not subscribed to it yet. If you like my content, then a like and subscribe would go a long way into helping me build more interesting content for you. Thank you and now back to the video. Max drew a perfect lap on Saturday to put his Red Bull car on pole. With a time of 1.29.9, three tenths faster than Lewis, half a second faster than his teammate in the other Red Bull. But the restart for Max was less than perfect. At turn one on lap one, he went wide and let Hamilton take the lead. In the radio to his team, he said that he couldn't control the car, so he couldn't brake and turn in time. The order stayed Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Paris, until Verstappen pitted. Hamilton pitted a lap later on lap 19 but suffered an undercut by Verstappen. With Hamilton coming back into the track from pits less than a second after Verstappen passed. Since the beginning of the race, the drivers, most of whom were on mediums, were all complaining about the heavy tyre degradation. It was getting clearer that the one-stop strategy that many teams had planned would not work out. Botas said in the radio to his team that it should be a two-stop strategy, which Mercedes decided not to go with. With Verstappen at the front of the pack and Hamilton less than a second behind, Max was clearly getting worried about how long he can stay out with the kind of tire wear he is suffering from. On lap 32, Max and the Red Bulls decided that they cannot stay out anymore and pitted with a set of fresh mediums. Setting fastest lap after fastest lap since then, Verstappen eventually passed Botas on lap 44. After the overtake, Botas was clearly upset in the radio to his team. He said, Why did no one listen to me when I said it was a two-stopper? A couple of laps later, he was overtaken by Paris, who ultimately ended up on the podium. Botas later told the media that in the last 14 laps, he did not have sufficient rubber to have any competitive pace. Max knocked off over a second per lap from Hamilton's lead, and eventually on turn 8 on lap 52, he overtook Hamilton for the lead of the race. Hamilton told later to the media that there was no point defending hard at that turn. Max had his DRS open anyway, and had he defended successfully, Max would have overtaken him anyway on the straight that followed. So how exactly did Max manage to win in Paul Ricard? Before the weekend started, the discussion clearly was that this is a Mercedes track and Mercedes will clearly dominate here. I myself had predicted Lewis to win the race with Max second and Valtteri in the third. But what made the difference was the strategy. Most of the team started the race thinking it is a clear one-stop race. But it became clear soon enough that this will not work. While Red Bull adapted their strategy, Mercedes stuck with what they had planned initially. Perez played a crucial role by staying out longer than Max. Valtteri failed to hold Max because of the clear tyre disadvantage. At the end of the day, everything worked well for Red Bull and many things went wrong for Mercedes. Had Valtteri pitted, it would have been a clear podium for him. Had Lewis pitted closer to Max, 
we could have seen an interesting race at the pit exit. Perhaps even a chance of undercutting Max after the second stop. But regardless, Max had an absolutely brilliant race and hence fully deserves that win. As it has been this season, when Mercedes messes up, we get to see some really interesting races. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.